Now a new cancer center is opening in Jacksonville at the Mayo Clinic to help treat some of these patients. News for Jack's anchor Janice Harris got a behind the scenes look at the technology that you won't find anywhere else in the Americas. I'm on the campus of Mayo Clinic inside the Duan Family Building. It's brand new, and they're going to be revolutionizing the way you treat cancer. In fact, they're going to have a facility in this building. It'll be the only one in the Western Hemisphere. Let's take a look. It's the diagnosis that no one wants, cancer. This new building at Mayo Clinic could be the answer for cancer patients that are running out of options. We're getting a tour of one of the most medically advanced offices in the country. So you're, you're in one of our radiology spaces, the facility here. Uh, we have a very significant radiology installation. This is Kent Thaline, the president of Mayo Clinic, Florida. This project started in 2019, and they'll begin treating patients on July 7th. I am incredibly excited. It's, it's extremely rewarding to see the way our teams have come together across our Mayo Clinic organization to support this effort. It's been a monumental task to be able to bring heavy particle therapy to Mayo Clinic and more specifically here to Northeast Florida and Jacksonville. The team has dealt with the pandemic international conflicts, inflation, and supply chain issues while trying to get this state-of-the-art building completed. It will be the first carbon ion therapy in the Western Hemisphere. There are roughly 15 centers in the world, but this building will be the most advanced. Just getting the technology here was a daunting task. The new facility could help 30 to 60,000 patients. This is Laura Vallow, the chair of mediation and oncology. Unlike some other cancer treatments, the carbon ion could be more direct at attacking cancer and more effective at stopping it from returning. So carbon will have a more effective, um, will be more radiobiologically effective in, in controlling the cancer, but also with less damage. For now, the carbon treatment will need to be approved by the FDA. The team is hopeful. Carbon ion therapy is particularly effective against cancers that are resistant to traditional radiation. At this part of the tour, we can't show you the rest of the technology for carbon ion, but it was shipped across the ocean and placed in the building by way of a massive crane. It's manufactured by Hitachi. Dr. Chris Beltrain is the chair of the Medical Physics Division and explains how the carbon ion technology would work. It starts off again uh, at rest. And we have to accelerate that through different uh, apparatuses to be able to get it again to about three-fourths the speed of light. And we're able to choose the exact energy of that carbon beam because the different energies will penetrate into the body different depths. The energy would be used to attack the cancer in the body. It has to be as precise as a millimeter. The same technology was being researched in the United States 30 to 40 years ago but it never moved forward. Japan and other countries in Asia and Europe moved forward with the technology. Now the states have a chance to beat the cancer this way as well. The carbon treatment still needs to be approved by the FDA, but regardless of what type of treatment someone receives here, the goal is that all patients will be leaving here cancer free. At Mayo Clinic, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station. The Mayo Clinic invested $320 million in the new building and its advanced cancer treatment technology. While the technology is now on site today, treatment with carbon ion therapy is expected to begin in 2028.